alikuwa anapigwa sana na alikuwa anapewa simu Fridays only. So if you are uh, getting me let me know where you're watching me from first as we continue. I want to know where you're getting me from. I'm going to do a shout out for the first few people and then tutaendelea kama kawaida. Sasa nataka kuambia ile furaha niko nayo ni vile msichana wetu ameshaarudi nyumbani. Hiyo ndio nilikuwa nataka yani kwa sababu vile alienda offline wakati hiyo mama alikuwa anamwambia mbona unaongea na mtoto wangu? Then sasa alikuwa ameshamtandika, alikuwa ameleta kisa ati anataka kumdunga. Then from there huyo mtoto msichana akaenda offline. Unaona hiyo Friday yenye tulikuwa tuna expect ya onge, atapewa simu ya kupewa so tukashindwa kumeenda aje kumeenda aje but finally msichana wa wenyewe saizi she landed in Kenya yesterday alikuja sijui sasa kama hakuwa na simu but aliomba simu akapigia familia yake akamwambia sasa niko kwa gari na elekea nyumbani Mombasa na hiyo ndio furaha yangu kabisa kila siku. Hiyo ndio inakuwa furaha yangu by the way hata watu wakisemanga oh unapenda kuongea vitu za uongo but sometimes anytime i see there is somebody who has been rescued mtu amefika nyumbani akiwa salama they like mom family tumeshirikiana watu wamepiga simu watu wameshare videos yani nasikianga vizuri yani nasikianga vizuri sana nasikianga vizuri kabisa because ni kitu yenye hauko sure yani tunajaribu kutafuta kitu yenye kukuagiza ukikaa tu chini hivi una imagine somebody anadungwa kisu Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia sio sio penye unaweza tembea mguu Saudi Arabia unapanda ndege ni kitu inakuanga ya kutisha sana but i thank i thank god kabisa mimi nashukuru Mungu kabisa because everything yenye inafanyika ni Mungu anatenda hata sio binadamu but Mungu anatutumia tu kama viombo anasema tu You can do this. You can do this. Try to share this one. Yaani na kitu inafanyika. So, msichana amefika nyumbani. Na nataka kuambia watu, I just want to share this. Anytime naona kama naweza ku share information na kusaidia mtu, I just create awareness using on a real case. So, kama kesi ya huyu mwanadada. Platinum anasema glory to God the Lord. Amen. Ah, Isaac Masota anasema when we come together great things happen. This is evidence. Thank you Isaac. Na ni ukweli, huyo msichana hivi sasa unaona mama yake haja kula wiki mzima. Yaani unajua saa zingine pia anataka kuambia watu, mimi nakuanga tu kama daraja tu. Yaani ni kujaribu. Ah, si ati kitu nafanya ni kitu niko sure 100%. Ni vile tu nasema let me try. So unapata sasa agent anakataa kusaidia mtu wake mwenye alikuwa amemuuza. Office zinakataa kusaidia mtu wao and then sasa ukisema naweza jaribu so na i tell the family naweza kujaribu lakini nakwambia zile simu zenye mimi upokea ni kama ni nyingi ju mtu anataka kujua lakini mama kwani hiyo kesi ilienda aje na ni process imagine sio ati ni kitu rahisi yani tunajaribu kungangana na vitu zenye ziko kuagiza but i thank god he has done it our girl is home i think i've shared the link you can see the lady i'm talking about na nataka kuambia wale wasiana wa coast. Coast ladies mko wa pole sana. Nyinyi wasiana wa Mombasa. Nyinyi wasiana wa Mombasa mimi nawapenda sana ndio lakini saa zingine pia nyinyi ni mnanyenyekea zaidi. Wasiana wa Mombasa anzeni kujiongelelea. Wacha ku usipatie boss, usimonyeshe uko comfortable without talking to your family. Usionyeshe boss wako uliendea pesa na sio kitu kingine. Don't forget your family because unaogopa usiogope nataka ujiongelele kuna mabosi wengine hakuna msichana mwingine aliingia saa hii kuna four months ananiambia anga like mama mimi nikiona hiyo siwezi nyamaza niliwaambia aliwaambia ati mimi ni mama yake so nikiwauliza ni, niki, wakimkosea nikiwauliza wanafikiria ni mama yake anaongea so saa hizi wamejua ah huyu ako na mama yake ni mkali Yaani tu vile alikuwa anasema mimi sitanyamaza je unaona wananitumia vibaya. So kama huyu msichana wetu alikuwa ameteswa na kweli wasichana wa hiyo wa... ofisi yao mubarikiwe sana. Hii kesi tulikuwa tunaifanya chini ya maji tukijaribu kufuatilia na huyo agent. Lakini sasa vile I wish hata maybe ingewa kitambo kwa mtandao maybe angesaidika kitambo sana. Lakini vile nileka video yake hapo kwa mtandao wasichana walikuja kwa inbox yangu wakaniambia la like, mama hiyo ofisi yetu watu nakatazo kuweka mambo kwa mtandao. Tajiri wetu ni bo, ni, ni Mwarabu, mama na kijana wako na ofisi yao hapa Kenya. 
So walikataza tusi, walikata tusiwe iweka namba zao kwa mtandao ama kesi zao kwa mtandao. So kwa hivyo, mimi na kupatia namba zao lakini usiwai usi ni taja. Of which, mimi mwenyewe ni, niko very protective na wale watu ambao wananifla information. I'd rather mimi mwenyewe ni kufe na hiyo information lakini nisianza kuingiza watu kwa mix. So ni kamambia wa usijali, we ni patia namba za au matajiri. And she did. Halinipatia by the way. Halinipatia, then nikaanza sasa kuwatafuta. Uh, vile nilikuja nikaweka nam, hizo manamba kwa mtandao. Wale watu vile waliona wameanza kujulikana. Because uyo mstiana meteseka. Kama kuna mtu meteseka kwa Saudi Arabia, uyo mstiana meteseka. Na nikama likuwa mpole sana. Ameteseka, uyo mstiana meteseka. Lakini mina shukuru mungu aliweza kukuja kiwa muzima. Iyo ndio, iyo ndio kitu chamana kwangu kwa saizi. Laura Fauna anasema, with God everything is possible. Let's continue praying for each other. Amen. By the way, tujaribu kuombeana mema. Tujaribu kuombeana mema. So, msana wetu wamesha fika nyumbani. Iyo ndio kitu inanifraisha tu kwa vitu zote. She's already home now. At least, hata kama vila likuwa mefika Nairobi na hakasema ni mefika. Tari uja kwa nyumbani. Na iyo ndio fraya yangu. Sasa vila likuwa meenda on offline. Juyo mama likuwa na mwambia. Mbono unaungia na mtoto wake. Kuna yatoto wa kiarabu wengine wanaiza kukupena na wanakurumia vila wanaona unapitia. Na mtu wanaiza sema tu maybe kula tu. Kuna wenye wanakurumia hata wana wanano wananyimu chakula. Mtu wanasema wacha kula tu. Mimi hata siyo lazima ni kule. Wanakuachia. So kama uya likuwa na mmoja mwenye likuwa na, na mjali tu. Anasema si mpe si mwaungia na familia yake. So usinyisha boss wewe ati uko comfortable bila kuongea na familia yako my friend. Kat fura kidogo unajua pia wewe unawajaribu sisi tunaanza kufura mara moja fura kidogo uone vile wana act jaribu uone vile wana act sisi tu unakuwa una unazimia kabisa unanyamaza unawapea macho kila saa kila saa jaribu kukasirika uone vile wana react waambie tu mimi siwezi kaa bila kuongea na familia yangu wiki mzima uone vile wana act mimi Sitafanya hii. Yani unaona vile wana act. Ukiona hiyo kitu ukifanya itawakasirisha zaidi. Unalegeza kamba. Unaanza kukuja karibu. Ukiona kitu yenye kuna wengine pia wana change. Kuna wengine pia wana change. Mtu wanaona ah, sitaki kukasirikiana kukasiriki, kuk, na huyu maid. Maybe huyu maid ni mzuri. Kazi yako pia ndio inajiongea. Junajua huyo boss wake alikuwa anasema nitamkatia sijamlipa si four months but nitamlipa hiyo miezi miwili kwa sababu aliambiwa akasema now that I'm finished nakia kwa ofisi nitamlipa miezi miwili na nitamlipia ticket ya miezi hizi miezi miwili niambia hiyo mie, miezi miwili sahi kama salary ni 35000 ni 70k na tena ndege sio 70k anaweza alipa ndege na 35k but sasa ni vile tu alikuwa na mistreat so akamfanyia tena extra Vila liona tena watu wa mfuatiri after one month, diyo tena ajamulipa sasa tena ikane mizi mitatu ajamulipa. So ndiyo watu wali, diyo nikamua wacha niweke hiyo video kwa mtandao. I think uyo mama alisoma lesson. Alijua tu uyo msiana kume nimekua ni kimudarau, lakini ya kuna watu wao. Na watu wao, ni watu wa the lucky mom family. Yani ni kuna familia nye mungu amebariki, amebariki na mtazidi kubarikiwa sana sana sana. So the moment watu wali mchanga mkia kumba alijua aa hapa ni kubaya. And then those uh, bosses they reacted ya wakutaka ofisi yao. Iyaribiwe sifa vile wanasema. Iyaribiwe sifa. So I, I think ni mungu tu. Ni mungu tu mi vile nisikia the good news. Nilipokea the good news. Nilisikia vizuri. By the way, you can see the way I, I was very happy in that video. Yenye nimeshia linga hapo. Ni vile tu hini nisikia tu vizuri.